Welcome back to Newsmax Now. I'm Miranda Kahn. Time now to take a look at some of the stories making headlines around the world. Well, the U.S. isn't the only part of the world dealing with severe weather and flooding. Take a look at this video from Serbia. High water stranded drivers on the roads yesterday and emergency crews had to be deployed. Last year, more than 16,000 people were evacuated from flood-hit regions in that country. Over in Tunisia, a spokesman for the defense ministry says a soldier opened fire at a military compound today and killed at least seven troops. The AP is reporting that the shooter may be among the dead. More than a dozen people were also hurt in that attack. The Taliban is now claiming responsibility for a suicide bombing that injured at least 70 people today. A truck packed with explosives was detonated right outside government offices in the southern part of that country. And in Algeria, Red Bull motocross riders entertain crowds of people. You can see them right here, the riders performing stunts right in the city square. Residents say they like it because it's something well, they just don't get to see every day. I'm sure they don't get to see that every day. Nobody gets no, to see that every day. No, I don't get to see that. It, it looks exciting, but at the same time a little dangerous. What if something goes wrong? And the crowd seems pretty close to that. Yeah, and we've seen videos of that happening in other places. Uh, meantime, we do also uh, take a look today at Memorial Day. That's right. A time to reflect on the brave men and women that sacrifice so much for our country serving in our armed services. And President Obama is doing that very thing. He's visiting Arlington National Cemetery this Memorial Day as we honor those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom and our peace in our country. Of course, this will continue to be a focus of our coverage throughout the day here on Newsmax TV and also at Newsmax.com as well. Prior to the holiday weekend, Steve Malsberg hit the streets of New York, just yeah. near the Newsmax studios there, and he actually spoke with men and women in uniform, including one Lance Corporal, who Steve got to interview atop of a armored vehicle, which is pretty cool to see. That Last really week cool. also was Fleet, Fleet Week, week right. in New York City, a time when so many uh, young men and women get to go have some fun on the streets in New York while they're still serving the, in the U.S. military. Yeah, I like seeing the uh, the women sing. Did you did you see that? Uh, I did not see that. Yeah, they I were mean, dressed in uniform. It was kind of like sweet. It, it wasn't sweet Adelines. They were called something else, but but it reminded me of that because my grandmother used to uh, be the activity director for the U.S. Navy, and so she would like sing those songs, you know, back yeah, the, in the, the day. The, so yeah, it was the nice. Bugle Boy from Company B and the like. Right? Yeah. All right, cool stuff. Well, here's more of that interview with Steve, plus a special look back at some of the men who gave their lives for our U.S. military. I got in um, October 2012. I wanted to enlist because I was in the Marine Corps ROTC in, uh, in high school, and I looked up to my instructors, so they just they, they got to me, so I just enlisted. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. I hope you, uh, they let you also have some fun. I think you're doing a great thing. You're exposing people like me uh, to, to this kind of uh, vehicle and, and, and your uniform and your presence, and we're honored to have you here very much, and thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. All right, folks, before I leave you uh, in this segment, too often Memorial Day gets lost, the meaning gets lost behind hot dogs and parties and everything else that we do to celebrate, quote unquote, the holiday. Um, of course, uh, it's Fleet Week here in New York, and we want to pay a little tribute uh, at the end of this segment to the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, in defending our freedoms, in defending uh, the right for me to have this microphone and for all of us to be free. Uh, and that's what Memorial Day is all about. 